What's going on guys, EJ from The Daily Shave, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Doc Stainless Steel Razor. Shout out to Douglas Smythe for letting me be able to try this out. You know, me and a couple of other gentlemen, you know, were on the pass around, so now I'm fortunate enough to use it. I've used this about a couple of times already. Uh, today will be my last day shaving with it, and I'll be shipping it out to Leonard. So be on the lookout for that, Leonard. So this is the PAA open comb, double open comb, sorry, razor, it's stainless steel version. This runs you about $175. Stainless steel has great weight to it. The design and look of it feels, um, looks really great. Looks really, really good. Looks very aggressive. You know, I call them like teeth pretty much. They're like teeth, like shark teeth. But other than that, this still has, you know, a lovely bomb tip right over here, or ball tip, some people like to say it. But to me, it more looks like a bomb. And it has, you know, great handling on the, on the neural right over here, the neural handle, and it has good weight. So this is the more of aggressive side on the uh, dock razor line. I have the aluminous red one. I love that razor because it is aluminum and it's light, not as heavy as, you know, it's this counterpart, but I expect to get clean shaves with this. I know my good friend Brian did a little live shave on Facebook and he did happen to get a couple of weepers right over here along his chin. So hopefully I don't get any. So we'll get into the nitty gritty of reviewing this razor. So we'll just go ahead and whip the face and we'll get going for the first pass. And for today's stuff, we'll be using the PAA line. First, we'll start off with the CAD soap. Then we're gonna finish it up with the CAD aftershave bomb and then the splash. And as always, in most of my videos, I always use my lovely Alum Block. You can't go wrong with that. So, and the blade today we'll actually be using too is our Astro Blade. So we'll just wet the face and we'll get going. Our face is nice and hydrated. We have our soap, and I forgot to mention that the brush we'll be using today too is the Crown King Synthetic Brush as well. So we'll go ahead, we'll just start loading up the brush and then we'll get going. And like I said in my previous video from my top shaving hardware of 2016, you know, this isn't a paid endorsement, you know, this is just a lovely pass around that I'm fortunate enough to be part of. But I will give my honest opinion on the razor and see how it feels. And pricing wise and also packaging too. You know, I know Christopher David Bailey made that video about, you know, if you're charging for a certain amount of razor, you know, packaging wise, you know, you don't want to make it seem like it's a little special. So looks like we're about to get a great load right here. And this smells phenomenal. Nice and citrusy, you know, nice barbershop scent. Really, really, really nice. So before I get to the lathering, I just wanted to say for starters, you know, packaging can be a whole lot better. I mean, you pretty much just get a simple box like most of his razors are. I know you, I got the Bakelite in this box, the Doc Luminous, you know, most of his razors, except for the, uh, Actual regular docks, they're a little shorter, so the boxes are a little smaller and they have like a little like see-through uh, on the packaging. So in the looks department for the packaging, you know, it could be a little better in all honesty, but I mean, it's Douglas Smythe, this is what he wants to do for his packaging, but just me on a personal level, I mean, even if he was just to put in like a foam insert into here just to hold the razor into place, that'd be at least, you know, somewhat cool, you know. But we have a great load. Let's get that learned. Got a few days growth in my face in anticipation for using this razor. And when I used it for the past two days, I really got close shaves with just two passes, which is what I really love about this razor because it, you know, it's kind of like a convenience for like my Mula R41. It's very aggressive. So, you know, I was able to get away with the two pass shave. It's great stuff. Sorry about that, my phone's ringing real quick. Add a little bit of water to the slather. Nice. Price point, and in my opinion, 175 for a stainless steel. Not bad. 
you know, some stainless steels range for about a little over the $200 range. So the price, you know, it's right where it's at, where it's supposed to be, in my opinion. So that's just, to me, it's fair. You're not going above that $200 threshold. <clears throat> Better blade. And what I like about this razor too, is that with the posts, when you put in your blade, it pretty much makes it perfectly aligned. That I really actually find it very convenient. So we got our blade loaded in, ready to go. I like to top my skin with this razor on my first my first go around when I first start. Just so I get to feel the angle for this one because the gripe that I have with this razor, just like the Illuminous, is that the teeth makes it feel like you, you're almost nicking yourself. But you just gotta really, you know, you shouldn't be adding any pressure whatsoever when using this razor. And not as much feedback on this one as the Illuminous version. I noticed that. Like I can, I can bear, like I can hear a little bit of the scraping, but not as loud as the aluminum razor. But you can definitely feel the weight on this razor. Most definitely. So, one thing's for sure that this razor isn't for beginners. I'll tell you that firsthand. Pass one, okay. We'll rinse out. We'll go for pass two. Stay two. So yeah, the teeth so far is what pretty much draws the line for a certain people that want to try to invest in this razor because it really feels like you really cut yourself. Not bad in a way, but you just feel like you really need to tread lightly when using this razor. And also when going against the grain underneath your nose, <laughs> the little teeth poke you. But what I love though is that I feel very smooth right now and I like the two passes I have a little weeper right over here on the top right here on the side just a little bit nothing too bad not as bad as my good friend Brian on all over his neck my neck seems to be okay so yeah 
I mean, don't treat this razor, you know, don't tread on it very lightly because it will bite back. So we'll rinse out the face and we'll go for the post. I'm wipe my hands, stay tight. Right. So, as you can see, right here, these little weepers, nothing really on my neck. And this one is already closed up, just the cold water rinse, but mainly right here, this is where it got me. Pork technique on my part, because you know, I only had a little bit of time with this razor, but this is what the album block is for. And <clears throat> overall impressions, an aggressive razor, very aggressive. Is it worth the $175 price point to me? Probably not. I mean, it just may be me on a personal level, but maybe it can just be maybe just $25 cheaper, $150, because the draw, the drawback for me, even with my Illuminous razor, it is a great razor. Don't get me wrong, great razor. It's just that it just really feels like when the teeth really hit your face, you know, it feels like you're really cutting yourself. So that is just my only drawback with this razor. What I do like, however, is that you get to get a two-pat shape out of this rather than doing three, because that's how aggressive it is. So my face feels very smooth, and my weepers are not closed up, and it's great. I mean, it's a, and it's a very efficient razor at that. So like I said, my only gripes is packaging can be a little better, and maybe the price is a little bit cheaper. Just a little bit, not, not by much, but then again, Everyone has their own opinion on it, but I know Douglas Smythe, I mean, I don't know whether or not he made stainless steel re uh, razors, sorry, a long time ago, but I know this is like maybe one of the first, probably, I don't know. But there are a lot of other stainless steel razors out there that have the market cornered in terms of, you know, you, you know their brand, you know, you got ATT, you got Timeless, you know, you got the BBS ones out there from Wolfman. So, this is kind of like something for someone who wants to get a stainless steel razor and not spend a whole lot of money. So you can go ahead and look forward to that. And But at the same time, you can't be any beginner because, you know, this will bite back at you. It will. It will bite back. And like I said, the other thing that the drawback is when you shave, because you got to find that perfect angle, you know, which you really do, is that sometimes when you feel like when you're trying to find the angle, the teeth feel like they're cutting you. So that is the only gripe I have in that. But... It is a great razor. I love that the fact that I just got away with a two-pass shape and I feel great. So we'll just go ahead and rinse out the face and we'll go for the post. And on my next video, from a very special friend, I should say. He is sending me a soap that apparently in the aroma department kind of smells like salsa. I'm not going to disclaim the name of the vendor because I'm not here to tarnish the reputation of a vendor because I don't own any of their soaps, but I will. This, this particular set, however, happens to be at the very low end of the spectrum in terms of aroma. He said it smells like salsa and in cheese, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what I get in the mail when it comes in. So, look forward to that. After shave off. And one thing I love about the bombs too, on a side note from the razor, is that they're nice and they're mentholated. So it really soothes your skin really well. stuff. Love CAD. CAD just smells so good. All right, well, those are my final impressions of the PAA Doc Stainless Steel Razor. Great razor. I'm gonna say that it is not bad at all, but it is aggressive. So we've been warned about that. You know, if you're a beginner, 
I wouldn't recommend this. So you can try out his other dock razors that are a little more on the mild side and will do just as fine. And we went and get, used the CAD shaving soap from PAA, the aftershave balm, and the aftershave splash. And the brush that we used today was the Crown King. Um, I believe this is the, um, I forgot what it was. I think it was the Suave Tail, something like that. Something along those lines. I forgot the name of this brush. I had it for a long time, but it's a great brush. It's synthetic. It's only 30 bucks. And I will have a link in the description with everything that I used today. So that pretty much wraps up my daily shave and my review of the PAA Dock Stainless Steel Razor. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel.